Bonjour à tous, uh, hi everyone and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité 4, leçon K. And in this lesson, we'll discover a big, big thing. So it's les pronoms COD. Okay, so no stress, but still, it will be quite important. Okay, les pronoms COD. So we'll take first a sentence. Okay, so it's a question and it's tu regardes la télévision. Okay, so tu regardes, regarder is to watch, la télévision. So if we look at this question, okay, and then we want to define all the elements, the first thing that we've got in this sentence is tu. Okay, so it's here and it's sujet, so the subject of the sentence here. Okay. Second part that we've got here is regarde. Okay, regarde here, and it's the verb. Okay, that you've been conjugating. It's a s just because it's tu, all right. And the second part, or the, sorry, the so, the third part here. So the la last part, la télévision. So la télévision. That's what we will call complément. Okay, because it's a complement. It will complete the sentence here by giving some information. It's objet. It doesn't have anything to do because it's uh, la télévision, okay? So it's not an object like that, but it's what we call grammatical object, okay? And we say that it's direct because you don't have any preposition between the verb and this complement, okay? So, no preposition, so it's direct. Okay? So, why do we say that it's quite important to use les pronoms COD? Just because when you've got a question, so if someone is asking you, tu regardes la télévision? Okay? The first option would be, oui, je regarde la télévision. So, of course, it's possible to repeat I mean, this part, la télévision, okay? But then, if we are honest, then in most of the cases, we won't repeat la télévision. In that case, we will use what we call pronouns, okay? Just to avoid repeating this word, okay? So, let's see these pronouns together. So, as usual, we will have the difference between the masculine, the feminine, and the plural, okay, in that case here, we'll start with the masculin singulier. Masculin singulier will be first le, or then, as usual, if we've got a vowel coming after, the e will disappear, so it will be l apostrophe, okay, le, or then l, like that, okay. If it's feminine, and at the singular form, so we're talking here about the third person of the singular, it will be LA, or for the same reasons as previously, L apostrophe, if you get a vowel after, okay? And then for the plural form, so here we're talking about the third person of the plural, then it will be LE. Okay, so let's repeat them one more time. So for the masculine singular form, it's le. For the feminine singular form, it's la. Okay, and then if they are followed by vowels, then you take a and a away, and then you get this l. Okay, and for the plural form here, it's le. All right, so let's see that in action now. So if you get the same question, tu regardes la télévision, all right? So now we've got all the elements. So we know that tu was the subject, regarde the verb, la télévision, complément d'objet direct, and that's the thing we want to replace. We don't want to repeat la télévision, okay? So first, what do we need to do is first to spot the gender of the word, we know that la télévision is feminine, okay, so 
we've got all the keys necessary. Oui, je la regarde. So, as I said a long time ago in a lesson, remember that in French, the pronouns, like this one for instance, are coming before the verb. So that's the reason why you will have this la here before the verb. Oui, je la regarde. Okay? Let's take another question. And here you've got tu vas regarder la télévision. So what's the difference between the previous question and this question? Well, this is, and we saw that in a previous lesson, uh, I guess it was on this unit, so you can check it if you're not sure about that. That's what we call the futur proche, so the near future. Tu vas regarder la télévision. You are going to watch. Okay, so that's the near future. Tu vas regarder la télévision. Okay, and then here, if you look carefully, well, you've got two verbs and that's the important thing here so if you will have a structure with two verbs and then you want to use a pronoun this pronoun will come always before the second verb like here oui je vais la regarder okay so I'm not telling you that it will come between the two verbs because you can have many things between these verbs, okay? So focus on this idea that it will come before the second verb. Oui, je vais la regarder. Okay? So we'll see that les pronoms complément d'objet direct can replace all the persons. So for the first person it will be me, second person it will be te, third person of the singular, so the one we saw le for the masculine form and then la for the feminine form, first person of the plural nous, so basically it's quite easy to memorize this one to remember it, same thing here, second person of the plural, vous, and then third person of the plural, les. Alright, so, me, te, le, la, nous, vous, les. Alright? So we'll see now a few examples. So the first one, il me regarde. So if you want to say that he is looking at me, il me regarde. Okay, so remember, as I said previously, these pronouns are coming before the verb. Okay, il me regarde. Present form, only one verb, you just put it before. Il me regarde. Il te regarde. So he's looking at you. Il te regarde. Il le regarde. Il la regarde. He's looking at him. He's looking at her. Il nous regarde. Il vous regarde. Il les regarde. Okay? It's not that difficult when you, when you try to remember, well, first, of course, the, the pronouns and then this idea that it will come before the verb. Well, honestly, it's not that tricky, okay? Uh, I've been putting the same sentence but then at this near future form, okay? So just to show you if you forgot it that it should come before the second verb, okay? So, il va me regarder, so he's going to watch me, hein, or to look at me, okay, il va me regarder, il va te regarder, il va le regarder, il va 
la regarder. Il va nous regarder. Il va vous regarder. Il va les regarder. Ok, that's the end of les pronoms complément d'objet direct. Uh, you can check uh, for the, the other lessons that are on YouTube and it's Imagier, the name of the channel and then uh, the website Imagier.net is here. Okay, you can find more material. Have a great day. Bye bye.